Hi guys, it is me, just Jeff, and today we're going to watch me play some World of Tanks. This is not the typical videos that I usually make when I'm playing live, because this is a pre-played battle, but I just liked to share it. So let's just see what we can do. We are playing in the T26E4, aka the Super Pershing, and we're playing on the map. Let's see real quick. Ascend River. It is a all tier 8 matchmaking, so we will most likely be able to um, do some damage here. So this is my tank down here. We decided to go uh, over there in the distance. So let's just follow our uh, our tank down here. Um, yeah, uh, this is like I said, not the usual um, videos that I like to make because usually I love to do it uh, all live. But for this, uh, I just decided why not and uh, show you guys a pre. Um, a pre-made battle um, our team is already lost uh, our team is already has already lost our sand lock but they already lost their sand lock as well now let's just quickly speed it up oh oh my god what am I doing let's quickly speed it up a little bit I just pressed the wrong button this tank is just not all that fast, so let's see. Now it's normal again. Um, there is a C-52. And there is a Tiger 2. Let's see, can I hit a shot at it? Oh, yes, we did hit a shot. 216 damage. And he just hit at my tracks. So he didn't do as much damage to me as he could. Um... Let's quickly move ourselves to the free camera. We're going up this hill. There is our guard. Um, <laughs> he just drove into me. There's the 53 TP. And I'm going to hide behind this. Um, what the hell happened there? Okay, then. Ah, oh, okay. I, I can't see... Um, down there, so let's quickly pause this. Oh, he bounces a shot on me there. Let's see. Let's go from his perspective. The 53 TP. He's standing down here. And he can... Yeah, he can just barely see me, can he? Because I am down there behind the guard. So, he just has a hard time hitting me. Let's see, can we hit a shell on him? Nope. We decide not to do that. There's a bit of waiting. There is a T and H down there as well. So let's see. Are we able to hit a shell on him? Nope. We miss this. He does a great 500 and... 500? 258 damage. We are going to quickly hide. Back down here. And uh, just turn around. And <laughs> we did it on the exact great moment. A good moment, I mean. Because we're going to get flanked as hell. Let's do the fix. Can we hit the LTTB? Can we finish him off? No 59 HP left. The guard finishes him off. And we're going to turn our attention back to the 53 TP. For now. The TNH is going to um, flank the guard but we just have to focus on him and we got a great shot of 265 damage into the 53 tp and he bounces so i know i can get in another shot before he reloads himself let's see get another shot on him 241 he focuses on the guard because i have too much armor at the front and now we are a bit in a uh, hassle because both the Tiger 2, the 53 TP, and the TNH 105,000 are going to uh, be able to hit me. But we finish off the 53 TP and quickly turn our attention to the Tiger 2, and he gets finished off uh, <laughs> right this moment. This was lucky for us, so we would survive. 
there we go the TNH is finished off as well so I was thinking of going up there but then I decided to go down here because as you can see most of our team and the enemies are down there so let's just help them out shall we only the G Sor and the RHM are not spotted yet and we are kind of kind of losing down here let's just quickly speed it up just a little bit because my tank is just so 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 slow so I decided to get a position down this ridge as you can see here the TS5 has been spotted down there as well so let's see we got a great shot into the Centurion 1 down there we're getting spotted so I had to watch out and just turn my tank this way for a second to see if I get a shot from there. The G4 has been spotted. There is the Centurion again and ooh, we bounce on him. But he is tracked so we can get in another shot. There we do it. The G4 has me spotted I think. No he didn't. Let's see. We bounce on the TNH. So I focus my... Uh, attention to the G-Sor, but he decides to hide as fast as he could. There's a TS-5 with a lot of armor. I tried to blind shot him, but I missed, as you guys can see. So now we are a bit in a hassle because we have the ISM, we have myself and the uh, M41 Walker Bulldog, and they have four tanks one is fully uh fully equipped with his health so fully uh, healed up i guess and the other ones are um more than half or the ts5 which is basically almost a one shot so i decide to try and see if i can get a uh, spot from this direction, but I said we can't. Oh, and there is TS5. Let's see, I've been spotted as well, so I decide to hide because the TS5 at the front just has too much armor for me to handle. I already decided to load in some APCR, aka the premium shell for the TS5, but he's just not spotted anymore. And now we're playing a little game of cat and mouse, to be honest, because neither of our teams want to advance too much to the enemies. The Bulldog is trying to outflank them, there's TS5, and we hit the TS5 in the side. Can we finish him off down here? Can we finish him off? Let's see. Oh, no, the Barker Bulldog finishes him off, and we getting hit. By the G sword, there is the RHM. Let's see, can we hit him? Yes, 241 damage. Can we get another shell into him? No, he hides. And there is the G sword, and we <laughs> 265 damage. Not even fully aimed yet. That was a lucky RNG shot, to be honest. There is the RHM. Is he? Uh, he's still hiding behind the rich line down there so maybe if he's going to get over it we can focus the same but the bulldog is already firing at him as well so now it's another game of a cat and mouse it's just waiting and waiting there's a g -Sor. is he going to get in a line of fire no he's not and the ism finishes him off at this moment I decide to just go for it even though um, I only have 85 HP left but I just have to do it. The Bulldog as you can see is deciding to, um, to go towards their cap and even the TNH of our team says just go cap man it's our only shot at um, and winning at this point because I'm I'm already almost dead so yeah they finish off our ISM wasn't a really good player if I remember correctly but yeah it doesn't really matter I wanted to advance on them but then I 
realize I only have 85 HP left, so I just couldn't um, go down there. I already loaded some uh, APCR uh, rounds for the TNH because it does have it does have good uh, armor. They decided to cap as well, but we have the advantage because we are in there sooner. There is the RHM and ooh, the TNH. <laughs> he shots at me but bounces. 320 damage has been bounced off my turret. So now we just play the waiting game to decap because we have to decap now. Um, as you can see at the top of the screen, we have 34 seconds left, now 30, and they have a 20 seconds left. So we have to decap if we want to win this one. So we're going to our cab. Hopefully, we can decap. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments right now. Can we decap it? Can we win this match? Where is everyone? There is TNH and woohoo! We hit him. We decapped our cap and he finishes us off. That's a match for me, but as you can see, we have won. We did cap it. My decap has secured us the win. Victory! So, um, if my mic sounds a bit different, that's because I'm using a different um, capture method right now. So this is the end result of our match down there. We got 189,322 credits and 3,900 experience. We, uh, we were the best of our team with 4,023 damage and we had the most base experience as well. So let's go to the Tito reports. We had shot 23 um, shells at the enemies and 21 hit it and 17 did some damage. So that gave us a total of 4,000 damage. Uh, 1,000 damage of a distance of 300 uh, meters and only 12 people hit it us and 5 penetrated. So we blocked a whopping 2,210 damage and that's a lot for a tier A to be honest. Um, Let's see, we got uh, 82,881 credits and we have 65,000 credits as well because we finished a mission. The repairs and ammunition wasn't all that much. Uh, we made 158,327 credits just from that single match. It's just absolutely amazing. Uh, 10 minutes it's uh, no 11 minutes uh, the battle took and we were destroyed after 10 minutes almost 11 minutes we almost survived the entire battle maybe i shouldn't have been that eager and just waited and then it would have been fine so if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more of these types of videos where i do a commentary after i play a match of wall of tanks then please let me know. So yeah, I was just Jeff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.